direct our daily living, especially in the church of God. Amen. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. And so we find, uh, praise God, the word of God is being fulfilled, not because the house is not packed tonight, oh, praise God, but if you look around the churches today, oh, bless the Lord, we find the same thing going on and going on, and surely we realize the word of God is true. Amen. The Bible said in the last days, praise God, men shall become lovers of their own selves. More than lovers of God. And the Bible declares that, uh, that, that the love of many shall wow. wax cold. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. However, we are here to have convention tonight. And I, I, I as, as Pastor Boucher just told you, we're used to preaching to one and two. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. We're used to preaching to small congregations. Congregations. Amen. Uh, that's where that, that's where we began. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. And we 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 can always recognize that we can't forget where we are coming from. And, and you know, I, I sat there and as he said the word, I remember when the church just started. We can talk a little bit about the power of forgiveness. But I remember that when the church just started. Oh, bless God. Over Western Road we were, and there were some Sunday mornings. My brother went. Bless God. There were only two or three. Uh, sometimes the most four of us. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Amen. And I remember one particular day. Bless God. I and the Lord gave me a word, and it was about four of us in the, in the church, and I preached my heart out that day. Amen. And bless God. When I was done, praise God. It, uh, it reflected back on me. Praise God of, of how anointed the word was. Amen. And it was only to a few people. Yes. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. I don't know. Uh, one of the brothers, praise God, Minister Davis, actually said to me that day, he said to me, Bishop Warren, do you think that people are going to come? Do you think that there are anybody who's going to come to the church? So praise God. And I said, my brother, the church is not mine. It uh, is the Lord. Lord is oh, bless the name of Jesus. And all I have ever seen to the church is not mine. The church is the Lord. And so the Bible said that uh, the Lord added to the church daily those who are to be saved. Oh, praise God. And so tonight we are here to rejoice in the Lord. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. It's always good to honor Christ. Whether it's you alone or you have company, it's always good to honor Christ and to declare him. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Because he is Lord. The Bible said, the Bible said he is risen from the dead. And he is Lord, amen. And every knee shall bow, and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. We talk, we look at the fact of, uh, of the word forgiveness. Oh, praise the more so the theme is saying the power of forgiveness. Oh, praise God. Oh, uh, bless the name of Jesus. When you think about uh, our lives as individuals, oh, praise God. The brother just said, he, uh, he, he's not good looking. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. I, 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 some people tell him, maybe they tell him different. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, praise God. Uh, but we won't realize that it's not good that we have done. Why we are where we are today. But it's because of the forgiving power that priest was exercised through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, praise God. The writer said, the blood that flows from the highest mountain that reaches to the lowest valley, the blood that gives it strength from day to day, it will never lose its power. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. And so we realize that the power of forgiveness, praise God, uh, came through the blood of Jesus. And so because the blood has reached our lives, oh, praise God, has changed us uh, one day from what we used to be. Oh, praise God, bring us up into a newness of life. The blood that of darkness and has brought us into this level of light, oh praise God, where we can join ourselves together, oh praise God, to come together to clap our hands and to shout hallelujah to the living Lamb, oh praise the name of Jesus, oh praise the name of the Lord, now when we, we check out our conditions, we all may praise God, some things that we have done in our time, some the here that we have exhibited, oh Oh, praise God, church of God. We don't even want to remember it sometimes. 
but thanks be to God for Jesus and his mercies. Amen. Oh, praise God. And so if we have been forgiven, hallelujah, if we have been forgiven, we are taught that we must also be prepared to forgive. Or oh, somebody praise the name of Jesus. Or oh, somebody praise the name of the Lord. Jesus, when he taught the disciples how to pray, he gave them the example of how they were to pray. When they, 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 they asked him, he says, Lord, teach us how to pray. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. And so while Jesus uh, uh, gave them, gave them the, the, the method, gave them the, the understanding of how to approach him. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Uh, bless God. One particular verse in the Lord's Prayer. He said, praise God, uh, forgive us. Oh, Lord, the church are here with me tonight. Uh, forgive us our, our debt. Uh, oh, God Almighty. As we forgive our, our debtors of praise, we're talking about the power of forgiveness. You see, people want to people want to get better in life. People want to excel in life. People want to attain or oh, praise God and much. People want to get close to God. But we don't understand to get close to God. We gotta put aside the Bible said we ought to lay aside the things that easily beset us. And run the race with patience. Praise God. For us to get close to God. For us even to understand who God is. Oh, praise God. Even us to be a true disciple of God. We must get ready. Oh, and we'll be prepared. Oh, bless God. Ready to exercise the act of forgiveness. Amen. 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 And we understand that in the church, we face all kind of things, all kind of trials. And many times I hear people testify that when I was out in the world, the things that happened to me in the church did not happen to me in the world. But that is all right. The Bible said, judgment go begin first in the house of God. Oh, somebody praise the name of Jesus. And so when the pastor upset you, you got to get ready to forgive. Oh, praise God, that brother, brother, or sister, oh, step on your foot. You gotta get ready to forgive. When they talk about you, you gotta get ready to forgive. Oh, praise God, when they mock you, you gotta get ready to forgive. When they laugh at you, you must be prepared to forgive. Just remember that when Jesus Christ, oh, praise God, he was nailed upon the cross. Ah, no pain was rocking his body because he was still human. Ah, the thorn, the crown of thorns was on his head. Ah, nobody would put it on lightly. Oh, praise God, they shut it down on his head. So he was in pain. Oh, bless God, they pierced him in his side. Oh, the Bible said the blood and water came out of his side. Oh, somebody praise God. They told the in his hand, they throw the nails in his feet. He was in pain. The one of the Bible says he was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for my iniquity. The chastisement of my peace was upon him and by stripes I am healed. But I hear the Bible say why was nailed upon the cross. Jesus said, today, thou 
live. You are asking, you are actually, I say I will live. When you forgive, you are actually saying I will survive. When you forgive, you are actually saying I will make it through. Oh, somebody praise the name of Jesus. So when Jesus was on the cross, somebody said he was on the cross. You and I was on his mind. Hallelujah for God and I. So Jesus looked upon the people and they praised God, they laughed and they mocked and they cheered. But Jesus said, Father. Hallelujah. Jesus said, Father. Oh my God. Jesus said, Father. Oh, 
worship. Thank you. 
forgiveness. And so let me invite you to go back to Genesis chapter 33. Ah, these two brothers that were twins. Oh, am I right? Am I right? Yes. Yes. Ah, one was one was hearing. Yes. One was small. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. One was smooth skin. Oh, hallelujah. Ah, the Bible tells me in an earlier verse. Ah, that one of them will praise God. He saw. Ah, he was got sick at one point. He was almost about to die. The Bible said he came up to his brother and said, Praise God, I need something from you to make me feel better. Oh, somebody praise God. He was hungry. He was close to the point of death. Oh, somebody praise God. And the Bible said, This same Jacob, I said, I will help you. But the God has sent me a dirt right. Brother, just be careful of the decisions that we make. It will sometimes come back to haunt us. Oh, somebody praise the name of Jesus. And that is why, as believers in God, we need to be careful how we sit with others and discuss other people. We need to be careful how we sit down with people and talk about other people. Because there is an unseen eye.
Jacob. And so the Bible said that the father got blind. Uh, he knew his time was coming to an end. So he was running out to bless his children. And according to the customs of the time, the firstborn, and the firstborn in this case was Esau. The firstborn would be blessed with an inheritance. And from the firstborn, it would fall under the second and third and so forth and so on. But can I tell somebody this right now? Uh, the same mother uh, that poor boat to him. Oh, somebody praise the name of Jesus. The same mother. Ah, uh, parents of God, be careful, you know. We can't show love to one more than the other. We will cause problems. Long time. Mm. 
Bless the Lord. You gotta speak the truth and speak it back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And so, bless God, Jacob received what should have been Esau's. Am I right? Amen. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Amen. And so, moving quickly with the story, when Esau came uh, to receive. What should I write to be his according to the customs of the time? You see, God doesn't necessarily work with customs. God doesn't necessarily work with tradition. God works according to his principle. And God works according to his word, and his word can't lie. And so before we enact, before we set up our, our traditions and, and customs, we need to put God before it all. Somebody the praise name of Jesus. So we gotta put God before the candle, before the flowers. We gotta put God before the altar. Because all of this is a part of the time that is set up. Oh, we gotta make sure we put God in front of oh, somebody the praise name of Jesus. Because oftentimes in the revival church, we put all these things before God. And our praise God, we put the music before God. And so when you walk into church, you come to church and you leave church, you feel like that dead love just the same. Because you put everything else before God. And God said, Amen. Praise God. He will share. He said, This is a jealous God. And He said, Amen. I will not share my glory with no man. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Let me get back to Esau and Jacob. The Bible said, Praise God. When Esau realized that what had taken place, bless God. And know his father, I'll bless this brother. Oh, praise God. He hated him. Oh, hallelujah. And he decided, and he said, listen, uh, my father's death is coming on soon. I'm going to wait until you're dead. And I'm sure going to kill my brother. I'm going to pray for you. I can't run the man either. I want you to cut off the man that that's told his birds right. But that is not what it's supposed to be. It doesn't matter what they do to you, my sister and brother. It doesn't matter what they say about you. Leave it in the hand of God. Oh, somebody pray for you, Lord Jesus. Because the Bible said, Jesus said, Vengeance is mine. Oh, somebody praise God. So we can't take a thumb with our hand and we will lose. If you try to defend it on the whole, you will lose. Hallelujah. Because the battle is not ours, it is the Lord. And so the Bible said, Bay the weight upon the Lord. And his mama said, listen, go down to my brother's house. Hallelujah. Go down and find all Laban's house. And find one of his daughters. And marry her. Because after all, I don't want to marry any of these women up here. Oh, somebody praise God. You see, it was unlawful for them to marry any of the Canaanite women. Or any of the women that was in the surroundings. Because that was the original commission that God gave to Moses. Oh, you don't, you don't, you don't understand it. God said that you should not look at your gods. Don't take up the relationship with them. All you've got to do, praise God, is to follow how I tell you to do it. Yeah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Bless the Lord. So after many years, after hard labor, the Bible said, According as Jacob declared to Laban, 20 years a labor in the field, 20 years a labor amongst you. Uh, if an animal died, I didn't put it to your charge, but you laid it to my charge and to take responsibility for it. Uh, if one born weak, uh, I have to take responsibility for it. But praise that you're going to store that you will understand that when God is about to set you up and move you out, 
God allowed you to do some things that don't seem ah, not make no sense. I want to understand that when they call the Rabbi Jacob Church. No, you didn't know that. That's true, man. That is why they call us Kobe workers, you know. Because the mystery or the secret of the Lord, the Bible said, it is with them that fear him and the keep his commandments. And the Bible says, so after all, uh, Jacob uh, got some special kind of stick to wood. Oh my God, yeah. And he made sure that when those heifers that were pregnant, they came to drink from the water trough. He put the kind of wood in there in the water that allowed their praise and to have calf same time. Turn it on. Mm. Because God had a plan. Oh, bless the Lord Jesus. And so when the time came that he had to go, he realized that he couldn't take anything that belonged to Laban. You gotta remember that he didn't go down to Laban's house with nothing. But if God is for us, who can be against us? If God is on our side, then bless God, we must be above and not beneath. If God is for us, as the Paul is, he said, you shall be the head and not the tail. Yeah. That's what the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 said. Or somebody praise God. And so if God is in your life, and you have a heart that is ready to forgive and to put the past behind you. Then it is you that God will work with. And so for all the 20 years that Jacob was out of his father's company, out of his homeland, he still had a desire in his heart to go back home. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Because there's no way better than home. He longed to see his brethren. He longed to see his family. He longed to see his mother. Oh, praise God. He longed to see those he had grown up with. But by no praise God, he was saying, according as his mom told him, she said, listen, man, you go and stay a while. And when your brother uh, hatred has subsided, I will send and call you. That call never came, but the hand of God was still at work. Oh, praise the name of Jesus, because God had a plan for his people. And so the plan of God is to be exercised in your life. You need to walk upright as best as you can. You need to talk upright as best as you can. You need to live upright as best as you can. Oh, someone praise the name of Jesus. More than you know yourself. God knows you. More than anybody knows you. And so God don't look at the exterior, but He check out the inside. Yes, the Bible said, I call you Samuel. But man, look at you know, the open appearance. But God, really take up the heart. And the Spirit of God deals with it in the heart. You gotta make sure people of God. When you come into church, the heart is free from malice. It is free from iniquity. It is free from backbiting. It is free from everything. That is against the will of God. One time it used to bother me, you know. Oh, yes. 
but not mature no more. Yeah. You gotta talk with a talk. Swear on the second. I wonder what the preach walk with you I walk out. Amen. That's all right. I want to hear me coming to preach in the of my church. That is all right. Because I am coming to get my blessing. Because I know who I serve. I know who my redeemer is. And his name is Jesus. And to even the new, I did something wrong. I found it out a long time ago. Uh, and I settled there for a long time. Uh, and let it down before Jesus. And I said, Lord, receive me. Uh, no more will I grieve thee. Oh, blessed Redeemer, Savior of the cross. So the Bible said, Oh, praise God, Jacob packed up his stuff. And he made his way back home. Oh, praise God, he said to the young man, I'm going to send that gift ahead of me. So just for adventure, meet upon my brother. You're going to offer him these things because I want to make peace. Come on, people, I'm going to learn to be a chair. All of you have to learn. You're going to live all praise on your wickedness. All the days of your life. You're going to live angry. All the days of your life. It is about time to put aside the negative and adopt the positive because that comes with forgiveness. The church can go on. When you forgive, give it can take place. When you forgive, deliverance can take place. When you forgive, souls can be born. Hallelujah. For the kingdom of God. I'm closing. The Bible said in another story to you that bless God, he saw. Saw the company coming. He saw haste to meet this brother. And when they met up, there was peace in the countenance of the saw. And what did I hear the song? I said, When peace like the river, I came in my ways. When sorrow, I see the Into our lives today, 
and we look at ourselves and realize that many times we will feel like not talking to this individual or even going to church because a particular individual goes there. And I don't know about you, if you have experienced it. But you know, the enemy is right here. Mm-hmm. But you still trust God. Amen. And you walk up into church. Oh, yes. And when you go into church, you don't see the enemy. Mm-hmm. But you see Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I've experienced that over and over and over again. Amen. Hallelujah. Even sometimes the same people, they have to preach to on a daily basis can sometimes be the worst against us. But I'm saying that to us, according to the right, a charge to keep my hand, a God to glorify, and a dying soul to save, that is fitting for the sky. For somebody praise the name of Jesus. In closing, I'm going to leave your quote that Bishop Desmond took to wrote. We understand that in South Africa, in the times when Nelson Mandela was incarcerated for uh, 20 odd years, 27, the blessed name of the Lord, 27 years, but he learned how to forgive so that he could become president of the same country Amen. The first that in prison. Yeah. Amen. Of praise the name of the Lord. But well, Archbishop Desmond the Tutu, yes. and he was the commissioner, the chairman of a particular board that was set up there. It, it was called the South Africa's Truth and Reconciliation Commission. And Bishop Desmond Tutu was the commissioner and the chairman. And one of the chief things he said when he looked on it all, he said, forgiveness is a path to true enduring peace. Amen. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Forgiveness is a path to true enduring peace. And so in the church of God is to be identified like the bride, as the bride of Christ. We must exercise this act of peace, this act of forgiveness, one towards another. Not just to some, but to all. Not just sometimes, but all the time. After all, Peter said to Jesus at one time, Jesus, how often should my brother uh, 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 sin against me? I'm going to say that was one so Peter said, Jesus, tell him, how often do I need to forgive my brother? Or should you only be seven times? But Jesus said, I say not only seven times, but seventy times seven. You want you want you want to the calculations of four hundred and ninety times. God bless you. Stay strong in the presence of God and learn how to forgive. God bless you. In Jesus' name.